Three, two, one, set. Good morning. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, for joining us in the event. Uh, today we are here to announce that Airtel with Uganda will be rolling out or deploying 5G. I, in February, I specified on February 21st, we informed the country that Airtel, among other many ICT revolution of us, was 5G ready, and we, are, we were awaiting allocation of spectrum. That wait is no more because the sp spectrum was allocated by the regulator and we shall be rolling out 5G beginning uh, uh, this weekend on a site-by-site -site basis. We shall be deploying 5G on an initial 50 sites across Kampala and in some of the areas like Kororo, Koziga, Munyonyo, Mbinda, Kampala Central Business District and surrounding areas. But we need to pause back a little and say, what exactly is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of mobile network that allows a new kind of network designed to virtually connect everyone, connect people, connect devices, connect things, internet of things, connect productivity in factories, in commercial farming, all because it is able to deliver very high speeds. It delivers higher multi GPPS speed data speeds, is more reliable, and has the capacity to carry up to one million connected devices per square kilometer. Uh, previously, we were running on 4G, and 4G's capacity could connect about 100,000 connected devices in a similar area that is per square kilometer. But we also know that technology keeps advancing and we don't do this alone. So 5G changes the way people experience fast internet in their homes, in businesses, people who are, for example, at home in gaming, entertainment, in businesses, productivity, uh, cross-functional teams, in learning, connected classrooms and lectures, theaters, in manufacturing, machine and condition monitoring, in health, services like telemedicine cannot be carried on the high speed network like 5G. In news production, in film, where the need and the application for high speed is most apparent. So what should customers do? 5G is carried on a 5G enabled phone. So customers with 5G enabled phones on their phones can go to network settings and select 5G to be available as we roll out. Those with existing 4G SIM card or eSIM will not need upgrade. And we shall be able to update our website and social media or our rollout plans. Our rollout plans include, once we are finished with Kampala, we shall be going out to other cities. That plan shall be shared. We shall come back to you and share that plan. We strongly believe that by the end of the year, we'll have covered most of the cities and delivered 5G and its potential to change the way we connect as a country, the way we see productivity, the way we learn, the way we enjoy home broadband. Lastly, we wish to express our sincere thanks and gratitude to Uganda Communications Commission for granting us the needed spectrum. Our partners like Huawei, American Tower Company, Nokia, for giving us the infrastructure and other services to be able to deliver this service and giving Ugandans a reason to imagine our own transformation as a country. I thank you.
Questions? Guys, any questions? No, you can ask. Okay. People have joined us later. Thank you so much, David, for that uh, elaborate um, information about uh, why as to why we are here today. Uh, I would like to to understand why it has taken um, you. I think like a one and a half weeks from the time competition launched the same. Yet all of you were ready. Yes, at the same time, I think. So I, 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 I'm not uh, taking it as a competition perspective, but I just want to understand why it has taken you. Like, was it, were you still planning on how to do it best or better than competition? And then also, uh, I would like to, uh, I would like you, you actually to elaborate more on uh, cyber security. Because you see, 5G comes with its own issues, uh, associated issues. We have seen it in other countries. Uh, um, it having like so many uh, crimes online, and I think you need to elaborate more on that, uh, much as my colleague Sandra had asked, but then you didn't go that deep. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I am not aware of what is happening in, in your competition. What I'm aware of is that to be able to launch 5G, you need spectrum. We've got the spectrum, and you need equipment. Uh, which equipment we deploy? The deployment starts this weekend. So next week, don't leave your 5G device home. Come with it. We shall be following the journey for each site we put up. We shall be informing you. That's what I know. And uh, we are grateful for the support that has come from the regulators who manage the allocation of spectrum, which we now have. Uh, this is how I view security. Security is a shared responsibility between the users of technology, and the providers of solutions. Uh, security of any ecosystem is as strong as its weakest link. That includes physical security. But the world has moved digital. Where we are, we are required to log in. It could be emails. It could be uh, SIM cards could be your banking application, even your work. Even those who are accessing newsrooms, they use thumbprints. All that is security. But in an ecosystem, when we were coming here, we went through a security check. So the security of any organization, including the services that we offer, is of paramount importance. We have a whole security department that looks at the way we keep customers' data, and that's our commitment. We are audited by various regulators. But most importantly, we build trust, and we educate. So I want to use this opportunity to educate those who are watching, those who are listening to me. There are things you never share. One of them is your password. Yeah. The other is your OTP. The other one is your PIN. Those are your yours to keep. They always ask because if somebody is given your pin and he steals a hundred thousand from you, you lose. But if someone compromises your password and writes a resignation letter to your HR manager in your name, you would lose the job. It's much bigger than 100,000. So when we talk of security, let's be aware. We shall continue to educate our people on our platforms to improve the way we generate our pins, the way we keep them, and the way we should never share them. Thank you. One more, last one. One last one? Yeah. Please. Uh, much as you haven't explained much on now, uh, the avi already available subscriptions, mostly on data. For example, uh, uh, Chillax, uh, you know, all this, uh, Freaky Friday, you actually mentioned 
um, a bit of it. But then I, I wanted to, to understand, are you offering something better at uh, the same price or there is going to be change of volumes? Much as the same, it still remains the same price. Thank you. Uh, the use, the volume, the use of your of your data on your phone is determined by many things. But most of them, most importantly, the speed. The faster you have, the faster the internet may uh, connection you are on, the faster you deplete your volume. Because if you have a file that takes uh, thirty minutes to load or download and someone else can download it in a second, then you've depleted your what? If we have a glass, this glass, and it is full of juice, and one puts a smaller straw, which is slower, another one puts a bigger straw, which is faster, who will empty the glass faster? The one with the bigger straw. Does the volume in the glass change? It doesn't. It's 200 mils, it's 200 mils. The one with a smaller straw will take longer, but ultimately deplete his volume. The one with a bigger straw, in this case a 5G, will drink faster and go and attend to other things while you're still drinking. Have I been helpful? Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Any other questions? Are people online, any questions online? Uh, there are some questions from LinkedIn. Yeah, let me have answer them. Uh, there is a question on uh, when exactly the service will be available. Uh, the service is going to be available beginning this week on selected uh, uh, sites. Or this weekend, uh, next week we shall be rolling out uh, sites and keep the LinkedIn people who since came from there updated. For each site we put up, we shall tell the country. Thank you. There is also another question on. Uh, Cyber security that you had already answered. Thank you. USA Children Online is a shared responsibility. The technology can only do so much. The behavior, the behavior, how we use. Don't go clicking on links you don't know. Don't share them. Don't allow them on your device. But most importantly, don't share your passwords and make your passwords as strong and refresh them as often as possible. One last question from uh, LinkedIn. It's uh, what does this mean for me as uh, an owner of a device? How will this 5G work for me? 5G allows you to, because it is the delivery of speed, the things that depend on the internet connection for which you are using it for. For example, if you are streaming, it gives you a better experience. If you are using the phone for other productive activities, maybe, you are monitoring uh, machines, you are monitoring uh, your cameras at home, it allows you to make decisions faster because you get the high resolution pictures and quality of sound faster than you normally would. Thank you. Okay, I think that was the last question. Thank Any you so much. Yes, bring it. Then there's a question about upgrading SIM cards. Do people need to upgrade their SIM cards before accessing or making use of 5G? You don't need. It's your phone that needs to be 5G. All right. Thank you very much, David. And for those who have uh, just joined us, again, uh, we have device partnerships in our 100 uh, service centers across the country. Go in, point at the 5G device you want. You will be asked to make a down payment. And after that, you can pay for the rest, either weekly or monthly or daily. So that you have the phone, you're using it, and you're paying for it. Thank you. Uh, just a brief one. Uh, I had, I will not say something beyond that. The phones we have on the market cannot support 5G. So I've had like the, some phones like Apple, iPhone, even Samsung latest, they're the ones that can access 5G. 
So how are you doing about that? Are you partnering with other companies so that they can produce phones that can access 5G at the cheapest? Because now the latest iPhone, I think it is uh, over five something M. Thank you. Uh, that's what I had answered. Uh, various phone manufacturers are producing 5G devices and they're on the market. That's the reason we are rolling out. If the market didn't have 5G devices, why wouldn't it be seated here? But we recognize that some of those devices are on the higher end. And that's why we have brought in partners. Partners like uh, Transtel, uh, Trajion, those are people who give devices like Infinix, MCOPA. All those allow a higher purchase system and it's available across our service centers, across the country. You go there and say, I need such a device. They ask you how much you should pay. And then you pay the rest daily or monthly using your Airtel money. That's the one way how we shall grow device penetration in this country. Because without the devices, we will not be able to achieve everything. But we have seen progress. When we began, when we were still 4G, we did expect that devices would grow very fast. As I speak now, the devices on 4G are far more than 3G devices, so meaning people are buying the devices. So we have partners and we will come more partners who we can work with to ensure that we grow device penetration across the country. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Any other questions? I think that wraps up our press launch for Airtel 5G. Thank you very much for coming.